Now, I wanted to talk a, a little more detail about best efficiency point and why does this mean, why, why is this important, and so, and why does it even happen within a centrifugal pump? And so, if you look at a pump design, it has to be designed for a specific operating condition. And so, the vein profile, the casein volute profile, they're all going to be designed in and for a, an optimal point of operation. And that is going to define the best efficiency point of the pump. And when you're operating a pump at that best efficiency uh, point, you're going to see that you're going to have the lowest radial loads. And so there's a chart here that has on the vertical axis the thrust and reliability of the pump. <clears throat> and then on the the horizontal axis, we're going to see the percent of BEP flow. And so as you can see here, um, and on the example, when you're operating a pump at best efficiency point, which is that 100% mark, the radial load, as I, as shown in blue, is very low. And that's because the impeller and the case are designed to operate at that particular flow rate. As you, see, as you begin to operate the pump to the left or right of that point, you're going to start seeing a higher thrust load on the shaft, and that thrust load is going to start creating and consuming more energy. It's going to start causing higher vibration levels because it's not the optimal point for the pump to operate. Um, in the red curve, you can see what does this mean in terms of a, re a pump reliability. And so right at the best efficiency point, you're going to get the highest reliability of the pump. You just, as you start operating to the left or right, the reliability of the pump is going to start to decline. And so every pump manufacturer is going to give you specifications for an acceptable operating range for that particular pump and the design of that pump. But in many situations, the, there's a recommendation that pumps should operate between 70 and 120% of BEP for uh, at least uh, specific speeds that are less than 4,500. And this is going to be your preferred operating range for that pump because it's going to give you an acceptable reliability. If you start operating toward further or at lower flow rates or higher flow rates, the pump's still going to run, but the vibration and the, the loads on the, the pump may uh, cause it to have a lower life. And if you look at some pump manufacturers, because of the way they design their pumps, they design their shafts and their power frames, they are able to expand that operating range to make pumps more reliable, and that, that is an area you can see some differentiation in pump design. Thank you.